I'm back. Video number two for today, but this is auction number three. In case you missed auction one and auction two, this is a fundraiser for one of my pets. Her name is Sadie. She is a 12-year-old pit bull mix who is, um, she has terminal bladder cancer. And I'm going to lose her within the next few weeks. So the jewelry that you've been seeing in these auctions are my creations. Uh, my company is called Boku Jewelry Designs. <clears throat> but if you're new here, then you don't know. You've just walked into Connie's little corner. And yes, I'm Connie. And I primarily do Timu. And this jewelry you're going to see are my creations using supplies that I got from Timu. So they're crystals, they're cabochons, backing settings, hooks, posts, pearls, gems, whatever you see. These are items that came from Timu. And then I have used um, my skills. I have some skills when it comes to making jewelry. Uh, and I put them together and I'm going to present those to you. And we're going to hope to see if we can raise some funds uh, to help Sadie have a peaceful and comfortable passing when her time comes. So if you are new and you haven't shopped Timu yet, go down below and you will find my link. There you can download the Timu app and my code AFC95851 will also be down below. And that will get you a $100 coupon bundle, 30% off your first order, and a whole bunch of other little gifts and perks that I'm not going to tell you about. You're just going to have to download the app and go find out. It's crazy. <clears throat> okay. Auction rules. By the way, hello to those of you that have come back again. Thank you so much for constantly coming back and being part of this the family that is this little corner. No mama with me today. Uh, I wouldn't be able to get through this stuff if she was here. Y'all know her favorite thing is, I want that. I want that. That's mine. That's mine. Yeah. Well, she wears a lot of earrings and a lot of jewelry that I have made for her. Um, and she would be scarfing all these up if I let her. <laughs> I'm not going to let her. Okay. On this auction, here's the guidelines. Pretty simple. Um, you place a bid on an item. You do that by leaving a comment. And your comment simply needs to say item number three and then your bid five dollars or whatever it's going to be so you list the item number and you list your bid now anyone who bids ten dollars on one single item is an instant win that closes the bidding on that item nobody else can bid on it it's yours all right so that's an instant win now for anyone in the united states or outside the united states we've got to go over a little bit of shipping as you can imagine, these are not flat envelopes, so they don't get a standard postal rate as if I was mailing you a letter and it would cost me one stamp or two stamps if it was a thick letter. These can't go through the machine. They have to be handled. Therefore, the charges are higher for shipping. I found that at the hard way after auction number one when I lost almost probably 35, almost 40% of the proceeds um, from that auction went towards shipping. That was a big dip. So I'm gonna to try to keep it fair. Everybody help everybody out. When you bid on an item, there is no minimum bid. You set the price that you're willing to bid. So I'm not gonna to dictate to you as far as what the price of the item goes. As far as shipping goes, if you're in the continental United States, and that does not mean Canada or Mexico, continental United States, um, your shipping for your entire order, no matter how big or how small it is, is a flat fee of $5. If you're outside the continental United States, anywhere else in the world, internationally, doesn't matter how far away you are, because I have viewers all over the world, your shipping is a flat fee of $10, again, regardless of where you live or how many items are in your order. And that $10 isn't even half of what it costs to ship, but we're going to share the shipping expenses. Um, and I hope that's okay with you guys. Now, 
If you want to avoid shipping and handling no matter where you live, then your total order, all your winning bids combined, as long as they equal $50, you won't pay a dime for shipping. So any orders over $50, $50 or higher get free shipping. So that's a little different than last time. Uh, again, place your comments in the bids. Do not email me your bid because I will only send you an email back telling you that you need to put the bid into the comments. We're doing that because everybody needs to see what items have been bid on, what's still available. Not everybody checks the description box, but it's easy for them to scroll through the comments and see, oh, gee, I wanted that, but such and such already got her hands on that and did an instant win. So keeping it fair for everybody so that everybody gets to bid on things, um, and that way I can sort them by newest first so that I can see who was the first one to uh, place the bid and who was maybe the second one or third one to place a bid. I update your comments and I respond to your comments. If you're a winning bid or an instant win, you'll get a response from me that says instant win bidding closed on this item. Or if maybe you only build a certain amount, I might say bidding acknowledged because if it's not an instant win, maybe you bid three or $4, then I would just say bid acknowledged so that you know I've seen your bid, I recorded it, I take all bids and I put a summary into the description box. So I recommend everybody check the description box because I update as it goes. The minute I get an email saying somebody left a comment, I'm in there checking it and updating that description box, all right? Now, payment methods, mom and I talked about it. We've simplified it down to two methods. The first one is that you can use your debit card, your credit card, anywhere in the world, it works. And you can go to Sadie's GoFundMe page, which I'll put the link up here for you. Her GoFundMe page is a verified source. It'll accept payments from around the world, pretty much from any source that you want to use. Um, and don't worry about there being a fee because let me tell you, on a $50 donation or a $50, if you're paying $50 to, you know, for pay your products, any type of a $50 donation costs me literally two cents in fees. I don't worry about the fees. So that's not even a consideration. That is the quickest, easiest, most effective method is go right to that link um, and make your payment for your bids that way. Second option is PayPal friends and family. And I specify send to friends and family because if you make, say, for example, a 40 or $44 payment on PayPal, they're gonna take almost $2 in fees. And I'm not going to get the full amount that you bid on your items. Therefore, your items are not considered paid in, paid in full. So let's avoid the fees. Friends and family at PayPal, no fees are taken out. You're making your full payment. Sadie's getting the benefit of your full payment and your items will ship. I ship between two to three business days of receiving the payment. I try to lump it together. So if I have several people that paid, I wait you know, until I can run to the post office with three, four or five packages at the same time, as opposed to running every day with just one package. So give me a couple of days. I will supply everybody with their tracking number as a shipment as I did on auction number one. So all these rules apply to uh, auction number two, which I just posted up. And this one is auction number three. So if you're ready, we're going to get started. This is part of my crystal collection of jewelry. Um, auction number two that I did earlier was crystals in red, brown, mixed crystals, purple, blue, and black. All those different color crystals were in uh, auction number two, which is the first video of today. This one is crystals with green, crystals that have uh, that are mixed with pearls, um, pink crystals, and of course, the clear, 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 clear rhinestone, all nothing but clear crystals. So we're going to start um, no particular order, but the way I have them set up is, I'm, of course, saving the best for last. But I will tell you at each section what color we're going to go into. So if you want to skip ahead, maybe you're not interested in the green, you can skip ahead to the pearls. You can skip ahead till you see the big word that says pink, green, crystal whatever okay all right we're going to start with item number one and we are starting off with greens 
This is item number one. And I will give you measurements on these. I have my measuring tape handy. So everybody will get measurements on how long they are. And I'll give you as much details as I can. Item number one is all twisted up. Hold on. <laughs> that happens. Come on, get down. All right. Item number one is a small pair, very delicate, dainty pair of leaves. They're little crystal leaves with green, dark green, emerald colored teardrop crystals. And again, these are not plastic. I don't use plastic crystals. These are glass. They're true crystals. These are in gold. They're on hooks, as you can see. Lots of little crystals. Two rows of crystals in each one and the big green teardrop crystal on the bottom. These are not very, very big. Let me find the end of my measuring tape. I took a little break between videos. Um, number one, to get the first video edited and uploaded. I needed some lunch. I hadn't eaten breakfast. I was been running around all morning. All right, these are very tiny, very delicate. They're only an inch and a half long from where they go into your ear to the bottom. These are perfect for someone who wants the smaller earrings or for perhaps a young lady who is just starting with her earring collection. Um, who can you think of that would like something small and delicate, right? And green, now that's a birthstone. I don't know what month it's for, but I do know the emerald is a birthstone. I'm not very good with remembering what I think. Now, nah, don't, I'm not even gonna guess. You guys can all tell me what emerald is. <gasps> Item number two. There's um 27 items in this video. The earlier one this morning had 22. So that's 49 pieces uh, for you to look at. Item number two, these are beautiful olive green, just simple giant crystal teardrops. Just crystal teardrops, a really nice olive green. Very simple, very basic. Everybody likes a pair of basic earrings, right? You just need that color to go with it. From the edge to the bottom, you're only talking an inch and a half. So these are not very long, they're very lightweight. Again, remember all my earrings, in case you haven't seen the previous uh, two auctions, all my earrings are hypoallergenic. I do not use anything that contains nickel or cadmium. I can't handle it. I can't even touch it if it has that in there. So everything is either stainless steel or sterling silver. And if they're sterling, I will let you know because you're going to have to keep them polished. Item number three. And in case you didn't notice, I am putting the numbers up on the screen so that you can actually see in case you don't remember what I said. Item number three, are you ready for some emerald green bling? Look at these. Now you saw them in the first video today in red. These are the emerald green. Look at all the crystals on the very top. These are posts, crystals in the cones going all the way down. I absolutely, absolutely love these. All those crystals and nice dark rich green emerald teardrops on the bottom. Again, these are posts. Measurements. Measurements from where it goes. Let me get to the post. From the post to the bottom, you're talking not quite two inches long, just under two inches. Absolutely love these though. Beautiful, beautiful crystal colors. Very blingy. So in the first video, these were in bright red, ruby red, and now emerald green. Great for the holidays, right? I hadn't even thought about that till just now. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that. All right, item number four. I just call these the little bugs. I don't know what else to call them, um, but that's kind of what they look. They look like little flies or whatever. They, I, I, I don't know. You tell me when you see them. These are really soft, iridescent green. So the way I put the crystals here, kind of, I did that to kind of make them look like wings. And then they have smaller crystals all the way around them. And it's a very iridescent green color. But to me, they just remind me of like little flies. Just really cute little flies. 
very the little flies. These are on hooks because they're not heavy. Um, even though they look like they might be, they're not heavy. Keep losing the end of this thing. So from where the hook goes into the ear, you're looking at just about two inches in length. Bear with me here. You're looking at about two inches in length. And it's just a very different color. When I saw those stones, you know, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. The crystal is one thing, but the, these colored stones, they're, yeah, they're like a really soft, faded out green. So kind of like them. Like them, like them. That is item number four. Kind of quiet around here today without mom. You all seen how crazy the two of us do. And we're tame when we're doing the videos as compared to how we really are. When we're sitting here playing phase 10, it's like cutthroat, you know, but we're cracking jokes the whole time. So um, item number five, we're still in green. I'll let you know when we change. Item number five is again, a really nice pair of olive green. Now these are different. These are olive green teardrops, but they have black crystals above and below. And you can see how they reflect, refract the light because of the way that they're cut. And again, these are not plastic crystals. These are giant glass crystals. Look at those. Again, they're on hooks. They look it, but they're not heavy. And these are just about two inches from where it goes into your ear to the bottom. So another pair of really different olive green. I like the different um, combinations. Before I do the next jewelry video, I will um, take you out to my little workstation. Um, it's out in the garage, it's in a corner, it's all set up because it takes up about eight feet this way and about 10 feet this way. And I got a big table and another big table and another thing behind me. and all sorts of different uh, storage places where all my my cabochons, all my settings, um, all my different pieces, all my crystals, all my chains, all I mean everything, all my tools, everything is there. So I'll give you a tour of that um, so that you can see. This is item number six. Item number six is green. I included it with the green, even though it does have some pearls mixed into it, but it's primarily in the green. And these are smaller. They've got a marquee shaped and a teardrop shaped green. They've got some regular crystals. There's two bands of crystals, one here and one up top. And then it's got a few pearls set into it. So it's a mixture of crystals and pearls. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I loved this setting and it took me weeks because I didn't have all the right size stones because everything is this millimeter or that millimeter. or It's got a flat back or it's got a diamond back. And once I saw the settings, I'm like, I don't have the right stones to go in here. So again, I had to wait a couple weeks. It usually takes about two weeks, um, two to three weeks for my supplies to come. All right, let's see the size on this one. These are not real big. They are an inch, an inch, a little bit, right around an inch and three quarters, maybe. Somewhere around an inch and three quarters, I would say. Yeah, really nice. Like, like, like. That is item number six. All right, I'm gonna to try to do better in this video than I did in the last one, letting you know when, I, when I'm changing colors. So I'm changing colors now. That's done with the green. Now we're going on to earrings that contain pearls. And that's kind of why I use this as item six because it was the transition piece. It was both green and pearls. All right, item number seven. This is gunmetal black. Uh, material, metal, not metal, uh, and they have little tiny cream colored pearls dangling inside them and a crystal gemstone. So they each have one crystal and one pearl. 
I was going to put a bigger crystal in the larger center. However, that is not a round and it's not oblong and there was just not a crystal that would fit. So these are very basic, not a lot of bling in them, but they do, they're a little different. They do have the pearl and the crystal in them and it's gunmetal black. And size wise, we are looking at two inches. Very, very lightweight, especially because they're open. Um, they don't have a lot of weight on them. I suppose I could, eh, maybe not. Um, I was thinking I could do a floating stone, like you saw in the previous video with the dark teal, where it doesn't actually fill up the entire space. So if you wanted a floating stone added in there, I might be able to accommodate that. I can't promise, but I might be able to. Most of these, because of the amount of bling that I put in them, they're not something that you can customize unless the only thing you can customize is if you want some, something on a, on a post, but it's on a hook, I can change it in either direction. So if it's on a post, I can make it a hook. If it's on a hook, I can make it a post. So that I can do for you because a lot of people are just comfortable with their earrings being all this, a certain type or a certain way, I guess. Uh, or like with me, y'all know I don't like posts. All right, item number eight. Itty bitty teeny tiny. Just oval circles of crystal with a faux pearl dangling down on the bottom. That's all it is. They're gold on the back. They're on gold hooks and not fish hooks. I don't use fish hooks. I use the actual French hooks. So very, very simple but very elegant. One person bought the large pearl uh, stretch bracelet. It had the four bigger pearls on it, and then it had the bars in between with the bling. This I made to complement those bracelets, those pearl bracelets, because I figured this would go with any of those pearl bracelets. Look at that, really, really nice, very lightweight. Let's get you the measurements on this. All right. From ear to bottom, you're looking at two inches. Two inches. That's it. Two inches of gorgeous bling. Yeah. <laughs> I never know until I go shopping at my suppliers um, or in Timu, I never know what settings I'm going to find. And when I look at a setting, I picture it completed. In other words, what size stones, what color stones, what type of stones would I use beading in it? Or would I use pearls or would I use rhinestones or would I use different gems? I look at everything with a fresh eye um, to try to get ideas. And if I struggle to get ideas, then I don't buy the setting. It's, I'm not going to have settings floating around that I don't know what to do with, right? Okay, this is item number nine. And again, with the pearls, these are posts. These are rectangular, large rectangular pearls. And as you can see, surrounded by really decent size crystals all the way around. They're in a gold setting, but you really don't notice it. And the gold always looks so much better with a pearl, especially a pearl this size. I did put the extra big flat backs on it so that you get good hold. And the top, as you can see, the Post is not in the middle of the pearl. It's more towards the top third of the pearl so that it won't be like dropping off your ear when you hold it. So these are, the entire thing is only an inch. That's all. The whole thing is only an inch. Absolutely stunning. Again, these, these pearls, I don't know if you could tell. Hold on a second. You might be able to tell if I hold these up. These are very, very white. These are more ivory. Can you see the difference? These are more of a creamy 
color, not a stark white. These are very, very white. So be aware of that, that these, you're not getting white, you're getting off-white ivory. Um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Love those. That is item number nine. And you know, if I make something and I'm not happy with it, I take it apart. I recycle the pieces if I can. And if not, I throw the whole thing away. Uh, if I can't get the stones or separate them from um, the setting, which a lot of times I can't because of the glue I use is so incredibly strong that I can't get the pieces out, even if I tried. So I'm very, very picky. Um, and hopefully that shows up in what I do. All right. Item number 10. We're still on pearls. I love these two. These are white, white, surrounded by crystals. Look at that. Just circular white. Very plain on the back. Nothing to write home about, but just absolutely gorgeous. Crystals. Look at the bling. Look at that reflection all the way around on these. Absolutely love those. Measurements on item number 10 are about an inch and a half hanging down from the ear. So they don't hang down very, very low, but they are beautiful. And again, they will go with any of those bracelets, uh, that those three different pearl bracelets that all got claimed in the last video. I don't have any more pearl bracelets left. You guys are going to force me to have to make some more. <laughs> I'm going to have to get inventive so I don't duplicate what I did. Um, and a lot of times I don't even remember what I did. Once they're gone, they're gone. And I just start making more. So that's item number 10, those round pearls. And this is the last of the pearls, item number 11. Now, these are very unique and these are very long. Um, and these have a lot of crystals. Boy, they took some time to do. These are posts, and I did put the big backs on them, but these are basket weave with crystals in the basket weave. There's 12 crystals in each earpiece, and these earpieces are metal. They're not plastic. This is, this is metal followed by the crisp, giant teardrop crystal in the center and then a giant pearl on the bottom. So these are long, but they're very, very lightweight. Very lightweight. But you go from mixed metals, gold and silver, crystals, crystals, pearls. These are from the post down. These are two and a half inches. They're not as long as you'd think they were, but from where the for the post goes in your ear and how long they hang, they, they hang down is about two and a half, or maybe two and three quarter, two and three quarter inches. Not quite to three. So they're longer, but they're very lightweight. Very, very, very lightweight. So lots of crystals, crystals, and pearls. That is item number 11. Come on, get in the bag. He doesn't want to get in the bag. It's like, no, I want to go in somebody's ear. Put me on. Hold on, need a drink. Okay. We are now done with pearls. We are going into pink. Pink, pink, pink. What do we have? We have four pink items. And all different shades of pink. Everything from a really bright pink to a really pastel pink to a really uh, bubblegum, bubblegum pink. All right. Item number 12. You saw these in red in the first video. Here they are with a pale pink. One carat stud. Swarovski crystal there, gold balls, and really, really pale pink crystal chains. 
the crystals are on the back. So when you put the back on, let me pull one off. These are good strong backs, by the way, <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. When you pull the back off, that's where your chain is attached to. So your crystals and your beads are attached to your back. That gives you the option of wearing the stud with just any other plain back you might have in case you want to wear a stud in like a second hole or a third hole or just wear the stud by itself without the chains hanging down. So when you put these on, the chains hang from behind the ear and then you see the stud in the front of the ear. Um, so it gives it that dimensional look, that two-dimensional look. But very, very delicate chain work. A little bit of gold beads. Length on these from the post down to the very bottom end is just hitting the three inch mark, just three inches. I do have these in other colors. I know I showed you two in red. I don't know if I still have them in blues and greens. Um, but again, no two pair are exactly alike though. That's item number 12. Okay, item number 13. Oh boy. These will jump right out at you, let me tell you. Love this color. Wish I had more of these gems, um, but I only had a couple of them. These again are floating stones, and these are fuchsia. They're not purple, they're fuchsia. And I don't know why my computer has such a hard time, but these are that pinkish purple, that fuchsia color. And they're surrounded, as you can see, they don't fill the whole space. So that's the, why they're considered a floating stone. And they're surrounded by crystals all the way around. Beautiful fuchsia colors. So you have to excuse the fingerprints on them. <laughs> I'm handling. Very, very, not really big, not really heavy. Going down to these. An inch and three quarter, that's all they are. So not very long either. So that is item number 13. Okay. Two more pinks. Item number 14. Now, this was a custom order that somebody uh, had me make for them. And then they never paid for them. They said, oh my gosh, I love them. I can't wait to get them. When are you going to send them? And I was like, I'll send them as soon as you pay for them. They never paid for them. It's been more than two months. So I let them know that because they never paid for them, they're, they're no longer considered theirs. These earrings you might recognize. They came from Timu and they had little tiny red drops on the bottom. But she had me customize them with every other spot has a bubblegum pink crystal, and on the bottom, bubblegum pink beads. So there are hearts in the center. The whole thing is a heart. So we've got pink and pink, pink and pink. So if you know anybody who likes light pink or bubblegum pink, you might see other YouTube, a YouTuber. Yeah, you might see other YouTubers from Timu wearing these earrings because these came plain silver with nothing on them and just a cheap plastic little red bead down on the bottom. And this is one of the things that can be done with them. Um, so if I, if anybody wants these, they're up for bid, or they wouldn't be in this video if they weren't up for bid. <laughs> but I may get another pair of these earrings from Timu and put crystal crystals in them because I think they would look great uh, if they had regular crystals. They don't look bad with the pink. That's how they were ordered. So if you're a pink person, item number 14. And the last pink item is item number 15. And these are square. So we've had all sorts of different shapes. These are a softer, dusty pink, like a dusty rose soft and you can see the prism effect in them can you see they almost look like that pink candy pillows you know that are filled with peanut butter that's what they the stones reminded me of so you get a lot of the iridescence and the way they change and reflect the light and they're in basically in a square setting but they're surrounded by crystals not very big 
from the hook down to the bottom, you're only talking an inch and three quarters. So very, very simple, but very different type of stone in the middle of them. So that is item number 15. Okay, we're getting there. I got to lean back because if I, my back has been driving me crazy. I've been building the garden beds, my exterior raised garden beds. And a couple of them I'm building using two by four. So they're nice and sturdy and they're thick and they hold up for a decade before I have to replace them. But it's a lot of bending and a lot of lifting because once I assemble them, the puppies are heavy. Okay. Now, all the rest of these items, from item 16 to item 27, all the rest that I'm going to show you are 100% crystal, rhinestone, Swarovski, whatever you want to call it, clear crystals, pure bling with no other colored stones in them whatsoever. Are you ready for this? Some of you have been waiting for just this section, right? I know. What can I tell you? All right, item number 16, if it'll come out of the pack. Marquee earrings. Look at all the marquee stones in here. Five marquees per earring, and every single weave around them is covered in crystals all the way around. You can't get many more crystals. I don't think you can't get any more crystals in here. This is full of crystals, absolutely blinged out to the maximum. I put full round backs on them to make sure you have good grip on those because you don't want them falling out. They're not heavy though. These are only an inch and a half in length from where the post goes in your ear. And as you can see, the settings are hollow. You can see right through each one. The settings are hollow in between the stones. Look at those. Ooh, baby. That is some crystals. That is number 16. Wait, there's more. <laughs> there's lots more. Item number 17. Again, all crystals. A little bit smaller. Now you notice in these two, I do make smaller earrings. Not everybody likes big ones like I do. They, you know, I do make a variety. Here we go. Little itty bitty teardrop crystals with two larger crystals on the top. These are posts. They speak for themselves. There really isn't much more I can say other than holy cow. Just look at the bling on those. And again. Everything is glass, it's not plastic. These are very tiny. From where the post goes in the ear, it's not even an inch long. They're only three quarters of an inch long. This is a great for someone who's petite, for someone who has very, very short hair perhaps, and you just want that little extra bling, but not a lot, you know, hanging down or for the young lady, maybe for first communion um, or some sort of special event. You know, maybe you have a young granddaughter or a daughter that's gonna be in a wedding and she needs a nice pair of earrings to wear to go to a special function, right? You can't go wrong, especially considering that you're the one placing the bid and determining the price on these. Item number 17, the itty bitty teardrops. Item number 18, these are in rose gold. And these are also somewhat small. And I call these the infinity earrings, simply because of the way that they twist, but they have crystals in every single part of them. Crystals from top to bottom and a big solid crystal on the bottom. Look at that. Oh, bling, 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 bling. Oh, love them. My weakness is, in case you couldn't tell, is jewelry, which is why I started making this all those years ago. These are only not quite, uh, not quite an inch and a half, just shy of being an inch and a half long. Again, they are in rose 
gold. Nice and delicate. Rose gold is great for pretty much any complexion. A lot of people say, well, you know, because I'm fair skinned or I'm dark skinned or I'm, you know, I, I have that Mediterranean skin or the Italian color, maybe an olive color skin. Rose gold goes with all of it. Where if you get white gold, silver, or yellow gold, gold, right, it, it can clash with your skin color. Rose gold doesn't clash with anything. A lot of people have been afraid to try rose gold. And I tell them, especially when I'm doing a jewelry function or an event, um, I tell them, try it on. Here's a mirror. Look at it and see how it looks because you never know until you try it. These are another itty bitty tiny with little bitty crystals. And I'm talking super, super tiny one half millimeter crystals. Little lightning bolts in silver. Full all crystals. Absolutely full. And these are very tiny. Again, these are great starter earrings or for just fun. They're only a, just shy of an inch and a half long from when they go in your ear. So they're not really long. Very, very lightweight. Just tiny little, just a little bit of sparkle. Great for a starter pair of earrings for that great granddaughter or granddaughter or niece or grandniece or, yeah, or yourself if you're someone who prefers the smaller earrings. Okay, shall we keep going? We're only on number 20. We have to go to number 27 before we're done. All right, number 20 is another pair of the chain and stud earrings, but this, as opposed to the pink ones that I showed you earlier in this video and the red ones that I showed you in the last video, these are all crystal. The chains on the bottom are all crystals and the little golden beads to go with them. Look at all those crystals. Again, this is the back is attached and you can separate the back and use a different back if you just want to wear the studs. Pretty cool. Item number 20. So you have this style available in three different colors. Pink, red, and crystal. Crystal, clear crystals. Those are about three inches long, by the way. I think I forgot to just tell you that. They're all the same length because I counted the crystals on each one before I cut them off. <laughs> I get my crystals in rolls. They come on spindles like a giant thread. The spindles is about maybe two inch in diameter, two, about an inch and a half to two inch in diameter. And it's got uh, on average 10 yards of crystals. So I go through a lot of crystals, as you can tell. All right, hold on a second here. <sighs> I got to plug in the computer before the it's not used to working so hard. All right, item 21. Item 21 is golden leaves. And these are very, very delicate and they are full of crystals. They have solid leaves in between, but most of the, the little sprigs that come off this particular leaf, they almost look like a golden feather more so than a leaf. I would think more so, I would call these a feather. So they have lots and lots of crystals, very blingy, very shiny. Again, with the gold, it just makes the crystals pop so much um, by using the gold settings. And these are only an inch and a half in length from where the hook goes into the ear. So not very long, very, very lightweight, very delicate type looking earring. I know you're thinking about somebody that would wear these, right? Oh, you? Oh, well, I was thinking of somebody else in the family. <laughs> all right, hold on, I gotta dig under here to get the rest of them. They all kind of slide back. Okay, we're getting there. Item number 22. I can't believe this video is already 45 minutes long. I think we're not done yet. This is why I split them up, because there's just too much to do in one video. 
Item number 22, you've seen these before in different colors. You saw them in the black, you saw them in the uh, aquamarine blue. And now here is, which ones are these? These are pink, really, really pale pink. But these are pink, 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 pink. If you look this way, you can just see the reflection, the way the pink reflects on it. So this is like a baby pink, a really soft, 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 soft pink, very soft pink. Double hoops. And the length, these are lever backs. The length is about two inches. They're not super heavy, but yeah, really, really soft pink. I wish the pink would show up better. If you look at it that way, you can tell it's pink. But I, I also do love the designs um, that's on the metal itself. So very cool, very loops. Crystals with pink. They should have been a part of the pink, and I don't know why they weren't part of the pink. Yeah, they should have been part of the pinks. I messed up on that one. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not perfect. Item number 23, again, is rose gold. And these are leaves. They are posts. And they are just rose gold with the top filled in with crystals. And each of the leaves, there's four leaves on each side that have crystals and the other four are open. I was going to fill these in with um, teardrop shape clear crystals or colored crystals, but I didn't have enough and I didn't have the right millimeter size to be able to fill them in. Um, so there we go. Rose gold. Very, very nice. Not heavy at all. And the length from top to bottom is just hitting the two inch mark. Very, very cool. I like them. So why are you watching a video in the middle of a Wednesday? I'm glad you are, but <laughs> it's like, why am I making a video in the middle of a Wednesday? Well, I'm making a video because you guys wanted to see more jewelry. And we still need to raise funds uh, to help our Sadie girl. Item number 24 is the exact same style as you saw in silver, but these are gold lightning bolts. So I have them both gold and silver. And as you can see, there is crystals all over the place in these things. Very blingy. Crystals galore. And these are tiny. These are just barely an inch. Inch and a quarter. That's it. Really, really tiny. So you have a choice between gold and silver. But either way, they're full of crystals. Okay. Three more. Oh, I got to do them? I thought you'd do them for me. <laughs> kind of waiting for mom to step in, jump in, say something. But... All right, I guess not. Okay, item 25. Now, these are rose gold. And this is a blend of hoops and lightning. Complete, beautiful rose gold hoops. Let me move one out of the way here so that you can actually get a good look. Crystals all the way around with a rose gold lightning bolt in the center. Very playful, not heavy at all, very blingy, very easy to see, even from a distance. They really stand out. The length from the ear to the bottom, you are talking about two and a quarter inches. Not big. Big for some, yes, but not super big, but doubled up. Love that. Again, the rose gold, it, for some odd reason, it just really makes all the gems pop. And I love layering. Layering is fun when you add pieces to the inside of another piece. All right. 
And the last two, this is very similar to what you saw in the pearl selection. Matter of fact, it's exactly what you saw in the pearl, except for it doesn't have any pearls. What it has instead are two crystal gems. One crystal is actually mounted into the setting and the other crystal is dangling and just hanging on there. So you get a little bit of movement in the crystal. Again, these are black, the gunmetal color, the gray gunmetal color, very, very lightweight. And even the, the hooks for them are also in the gunmetal. And these are two inches long, two inches. So these don't have pearls, the difference is, the other ones had a crystal with a pearl hanging. These have a crystal with a crystal hanging. So double crystals. And that is item number 26. And last but not least, yes, that would be item number 27. In case you weren't keeping again. Okay, this one doesn't want to open. <laughs> I put it in the bag backwards, that's why. These are... Absolutely gorgeous. I love these. These are golden hollow teardrops layered with amber stones, amber crystals all the way over on the, the top edge has the amber crystals. As you can see, this tucks behind, comes out the other side, and they overlap with the solid. So you've got the two-tone, longer dangles. This is definitely in a gold tone. And I think more so it's the gold tone that really makes those crystals look um, a little bit more amber, but they're, they're pretty much crystal crystals. Crystal crystals? I don't know. They're crystals. These are a little longer. These are three inches. I comfortably say they hit three-inch mark but they're very lightweight, which is why I put them on hooks and not on posts. So that is item number 27, if you like something a little bit more blended, so to speak. So that's it, guys. That's the second video of the day. 49 items between the two videos. 22 items on the first one, 27 items on this one. Again, the goal on both the videos that were up today is $100 per each video. Um, so hopefully we can raise that. Again, uh, a $10 bid on any one item is an instant win. $50 total order is free shipping. Anything under $50 is $5 shipping within continental United States. $10 shipping every place else in the world. Leave your bids in the comment section, please. And payment options are Sadie's GoFundMe, which I will also put the link in the description box uh, for Sadie's GoFundMe, or you can use PayPal, pay friends and family to Connie's Little Corner at gmail.com. So I think that covers everything. Both the auctions that are posted up today are going to close Saturday at noon. So today is the 12th, that's the 15th. So we're gonna close on June 15th at 12 noon Mountain Standard Time or Arizona time. And as of that point, I will start communicating with everybody. If I, if I don't have your email, I'm gonna ask you right up front. If you're done bidding and you want to close your order out, you can do it at any time. You don't have to wait until um, the bidding closes at noon on Saturday. If you know, if you've looked at everything and you know you're done, you just send me an email, all right, to telling me that you're done and could I give you your total? I'll give you your total. You'll give me your address. Payment is made. Items go out. We don't have to wait for it to close. If you want to do it sooner, I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any other questions or concerns? By all means, please leave me a message down below. As always, you know what I'm going to say. Stay hydrated, stay sweet, stay positive, stay comfortable, stay cool, because it's hot. And if you have not already, please give me a thumbs up for these videos. Let's help Sadie have a peaceful passing. Share it. 
So everybody can watch it because it's the views that keep this thing alive and it's the views that monetize the channel so I can get these items on credit so that I can get these items simply by you watching them. It doesn't cost you anything. Just watch. Keep watching. And if you're not subscribed, come on, hit that subscribe button. I cover Timu products, Timu creations in my jewelry, gardening items. Um, what else do I cover? I don't know. <laughs> anything tips and tricks i have i have been told by my timu staff member my actually my liaison with timu that i am the tips and tricks lady that no one else out there has the tips and tricks like i do and that they love to see that because i've been helping all their customers and their shoppers have better experience and a better understanding of timu and it's something that they haven't been able to do so yeah watch my tips and tricks learn everything you can and don't be afraid to ask any questions just remember keep your comments sweet please and i will see you on sunday with mama and we will give you a recap of how these two auctions today went plus we'll have a bag of timu stuff for you too okay bye